Hey guys, so I can't believe this is happening, but we finally got our first full leak of the entirety of the Model 3 Ludacris. Just a few hours ago, a user on X has shared a handful of images of the Model 3 Ludacris fully uncovered. Now this isn't your typical leak. This is high definition, high quality images of the surrounding of the entire car. He has shared images of practically everywhere around the exterior from the front bumper to the side to the rear. This gives us the best images of what we were expecting for the last couple of months. Of course, we're not quite sure if this was done intentionally as they are preparing for for the media test drive as we've discussed in previous videos. If you want to know exactly where and when this is taking place, definitely go check out that video. I'll drop a link in the description below. Jumping straight into it, as you can see in this first photo of the front bumper, the whole thing has been redesigned as you can see here with the bottom front splitter. This gives it a much more aggressive look than what we were used to. It now wraps around the entire bottom bumper, giving it some extra curves and some more aggressiveness, something that we haven't seen on any of the other vehicles just yet. What's also very interesting about this photo here is that it's sitting next to an RC build of the Cybertruck, maybe indicating that this is also the RC build of the Model 3 Ludacris. We're not quite sure, but there is some good indications that this is not production ready vehicle. Moving to the back of the car, you notice a couple more updates, very similar to things we have discussed in previous videos. The first one here being the extra large Ludacris badge that is slapped right at the bottom portion of the trunk. For whatever reason, it seems to be covered up with some blue tape, but we all know exactly what's underneath. Moving to the top of the truck, now we see a much larger, a more pronounced version of the spoiler. This has already been seen in some of the previous leaks, but now we get a really good look at how the curves and angles really look. Now in my personal opinion, this is exactly the missing piece that is not available on the Model 3 Highlands, and hopefully, fingers crossed that Tesla will eventually add this as an additional upgrade option for the other trims. All right, so now let's get to the best part of it all. This is going to be the interior shots, and this is exactly what we've been waiting for all this time. In this picture here, you notice the black interior options with the black seats, and man, does it look good. It has been completely redesigned in every single way. It has so much more bolstering from top to bottom, and from the looks of it, we are still getting the perforated, cooled seats that we were all worried that was not going to make it onto these performance sport seats. And of course, we can't miss it. The most coolest part about all this is the integrated ludicrous badge slap dab right at the bottom of the headrest. This is undeniably the best part of this upgrade and you'll definitely know that this is the top of the line model as soon as you hop in. All right, so if that's not enough, there is an entire video of the internal specs of this car. Everything on this center display has been shown in this video. Thanks to a user on X that goes by Nine Lee, he was able to play around with the display and able to show us every single tab and menu on the screen. First off, in the software screen, we are now going to be seeing the very large and distinct ludicrous badge smack dab in the center. There is no denying how good this looks and it makes you feel just that bit more special as soon as you hop in your car and see this pop on. Then continuing to watch in the video, we can now see that there is two new acceleration modes, the sport mode and the insane mode. At the time of this recording, the base Model 3 and the long range currently only has the chill and standard mode and possibly in the future with the acceleration boost, we are also going to be seeing the sport availability. But for now, this is very exclusive to the Model 3 Ludacris, the sport mode and the insane mode. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering why it's insane rather than ludicrous. I am going to be covering all about this in the next video. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. Now, the acceleration on its own is is more than enough to get us excited, but there is some more features within the menus that we can see within this small little clip. You will notice some additional changes here to how things are laid out. Things such as the steering and the pedal menu has now been changed to dynamics. For this ludicrous Model 3, there is now a drive instruction next to the map version. This is likely to show you how you can take advantage of all the features of this car. Scrolling down a little bit more within the controls tab, there is now a new feature called called auto shift out of park. 
This has been talked about for the last couple of weeks and I have very specific videos on that as well. If you guys want to check it out, you know where to go. But there is also another feature right underneath that and that is auto shift out of D and R for drive and reverse. And this is currently in developers mode only. This is exactly what's going to be happening with the auto shift and the actual smart summon. Tons of content over there. Definitely go check out my playlist if you guys haven't already done so. All of these little details we see here on the display, I'll be going into detail with every single feature talked about. So definitely stick around for more. So as of right now, invitations are going out for test drives of the Model 3 Ludicrous and definitely a lot more images, a lot more leaks are going to be coming out in the next couple of days. I will continue to keep you guys as posted on every single thing Ludicrous and everything else. So make sure you guys stick around by hitting that subscribe button. And Hopefully the staff engineer in charge of this car doesn't get into any real trouble for leaving the car completely uncovered. Thanks to him, we are finally getting to see every aspect and what we can be expecting as soon as it gets announced. Anyways guys, this is just a quick overview I wanted to share, but there is a lot more to come. I hope you guys enjoyed all of this. This is John once again. Peace out.